In part one of a CBS 4 News special report, we talked about the environmental effects of an invasive species here in the valley. Today in part two, the benefits of native vegetation on the landscape and the local wildlife. Having discussed the impact of non-native species, we're here now at the Laguna Atascosa Wildlife Refuge. And here are some of the things that you can do in your own backyard with native plants if you want to see birds like they have here. Our tour guide, Assistant Refuge Manager, Leo Gustafson. If you're willing to do something about your invasive species at home, I would recommend just start planting native. Native plants are beneficial because they can potentially outcompete exotic species. You'll also need another crucial ingredient. Laguna Atascosa Refuge and refuges in general are all about wildlife, but you can't have wildlife without first having plants or water. You've got to be able to provide food, cover, and water, or you're not going to be able to attract any wildlife to your refuge. And what you plant at home depends on the type of environment you want to create. If you want to attract butterflies, you are going to want to have a lot of flowering plants. If you want to attract birds, you're going to want to have trees and bushes. If you want to have hummingbirds specifically, there's plants that can draw in hummingbirds into your backyard. This aniquita is pretty cool because it produces a little plum looking fruit. It's kind of yellowish green. And there's several different species of wildlife that like to eat it. Deer like to eat it, javelina like to eat it. This is a, a medium to a large growing tree, so it provides lots of shade and lots of foraging for wildlife. From green jays to grackles and chachalacas to hummingbirds, Excellent shot. Another advantage of native plants is they're adapted to the climate. They're used to the drought that we have down here in South Texas. They're used to the, the hot sun in the summertime, and, and they're more capable of surviving than, say, exotic species that are brought in. Surviving, thriving, and economical. The great thing about having native plants in your yard is it's much easier on your pocketbook. Leo says the best place to seek advice on the subject is your local nursery. Look what kind of options are available to you. What kind of plants are available? What kind of shrubs are available? What kind of trees are available? And then match that with how much you're willing to spend on it. And, and they will help you design an area in your backyard that will be a perfect habitat for wildlife. For CBS 4 News and ValleyCentral.com, reporting in the Lower Valley, I'm Dan Joseph. Uh, people at the refuge say if you want to see what kind of plants attract certain animals, just stop by for a visit. They're located at the address on your screen. You can also check out their website for hours of operation and information on fees. And all refugees in the U.S. are offering free admission today through Sunday for Veterans Day weekend. And here in front of me are four native plants that I picked up at Stort Place Nursery in Harlingen. On the left here, this shrimp plant has flowers that attract hummingbirds and butterflies. And great flowering plant. Right next to that is a papaya, which produces a fruit that birds love and for people it will help your digestion. Next to that is the aloe vera. It can soothe burn skin and some people drink the juice for medicinal purposes. And finally, this Sephora. It attracts butterflies in the spring and fall when it blooms. Uh, these are just a few of the many plants available for your own backyard. There are several nurseries around the valley that have native plants available for sale. All you have to do is pay them a visit to find out how they can help.